Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. We all want to see does ID Software 3.0 bring a great advantage when it comes to charging. So uh, the normal ID3 58 kilowatt hours or the Pro version uh, that I have that started uh, with the ID3 in September of 2020 had a peak charging power of 100 kilowatt and they said that uh, I think from summer of 21 cars were delivered of, with that battery with higher charging power and the old cars will get uh, the, with uh, update 3.0 also uh, a new BMS software so it can charge with more power they say up to 120 kilowatts so what did I do when I had a press car from Volkswagen with uh, with that car with the ID software 3.0 I put it uh, I drove it down till the battery is warm uh, drove with power and then I charged at the honesty from 4% to 98% so we can compare the charging curve that it, the car uh, will have with 3.0 and what it has now with 2.3 that my car so my car when I did this charging test in September 2020 was a week old and had I don't know thousand kilometers on there or maybe a bit more and the car that I that I tested now I'm guessing is also only a month or two month old and has uh, two and a half thousand kilometers so it's very comparable and let's look at the charging curve and I also put in uh, the Cupra Born that I tested in November because that I think should also have the same charging curve than what we get in the old cars with the software update so here we have it what you have here is that blue is the old ID3 mine red is the Cupra Born and yellow is the ID3 with 3.0 software on there. This is the charging power in kilowatt over state of charge in percent. And as you can see here, 102 kilowatt, 103 was the peak of the old one. Cooper born starts a bit slow but it could have been because of the temperature i did that in november but i drove the battery warm um, it should should have been warm should be no problem and it goes up to 133 134 around that and the new software goes up steadily here and goes up to the peak of also 133 important that they all meet at around 30 percent what is this exactly let's look 29 28 29 percent this is where they all meet so that the increase in charging power is only at the bottom so if you're someone who plugs in at 25 percent there's no change uh, or if you if you plug in at, at 20 percent you don't get the higher charging power anyways so it's only you only get that peak if you ch if you charge under 15 percent or something and then it's just a sh really short time I meaning this is 10 percent this is around 15 percent and they meet at 29 percent so that this is not very long and then from that moment on they're very very similar till the end it's it's almost the same charging curve so it's really just on the bottom to 29 percent and important what I want to look at, does it really make a difference in range edit? All those three cars, um, well, with the, from the Born, I don't have that, that, that graph anymore, with range edit. I took the, the, the range, uh, calculated the kilowatt hours that I charged. Uh, I know there's charging loss in there, but to compare, it's fine. Um, and their consumption at 130 kilometers an hour and then I get range edit and as you can see here so this is the range edit in kilometers over time in minutes blue is the old ID3 red is the with the new software and yes it adds more range but it's also not amazingly uh, 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 not too much. So here at, at 10 minutes we have 103 kilometers added and the normal ID3 gets 85. They, they meet again here at around 30 minutes and then it's very interesting the old ID3 even goes a bit above <laughs> but just a tiny tiny bit. So there is difference but it's also not Oh my god difference and what's also important is the time so if you usually charge from 10 to 80 percent I also measured that in the old ID3 it was 35 minutes with new software it's 33 minutes so you save two minutes so it's not a big big deal 
oh my god it's not oh my god <laughs> the world is so different now but again they're doing something so that's good also i looked at the capacity of the battery when i was charging right now of course i had degradation my car is one and a half years old but back then i had a capacity when you take Again, it's not it with charge loss uh, um, at the charger around 63.4 kilowatt hours. That's not the capacity of the battery, but how much I could add to the battery. And now it's 62.9. But again, this is also not perfectly accurate. So it's just 0 0.5 kilowatt hours different. And maybe I arrived with one car at 2%. Um, it was almost at three and the other t uh, the other that I arrived with four it was almost three instead of four so so it could be one percent off and then the 0 0.5 kilowatt hours I think it's exactly the same so the capacity is is the same there have been no changes they didn't change the battery but very interesting to see it gives you two minutes if you charge from 10 to 80 percent if this is important to you I mean why would we not want it anyways it's okay and if you only charge if you only need to charge to 40 percent or something then as you can see that that gives you a bit of an advantage here i mean to 30 percent the yellow is mostly up so so that's that's really okay um but it's good to know and it was nice to do that test okay that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye